Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how you can add sleeves or other decorations to just an ordinary plain t-shirt. This was just a plain short sleeve t-shirt and I added sleeves and just some trim around the neck and then I just added this cord just for detail. So I'm going to show you how I did this. And you could do this to sleeveless shirts as well. First by just adding a blanket stitch all the way around your openings and then crocheting directly onto your stitches. So if you want to work directly on your sleeve and not have to sew it on, you're just going to thread some yarn into a yarn needle. To work a blanket stitch, you insert your needle into your fabric and then you make sure the yarn is on the back side of the needle and then you just bring that through like that. And you do that all the way around. Put the needle through the fabric. Make sure the yarn is on the back side of the needle and then bring that through and then you'll have these blanket stitch all the way around and you can just crochet directly into these. And I'm going to show you today how to make it as a separate section and then attach it to your sleeve after. So you go ahead and you make a foundation chain that will wrap around the sleeve like that. So it's as long as I need to be able to wrap all the way around my sleeve like that. And then slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Like that. And you can see that that will wrap right around the sleeve. So now on this you can do any stitch that you like. You could just do a simple grid which would be chain three and that takes the place of a double crochet and a chain one. And then you skip the next stitch and you double crochet in the next yarn around the hook. Insert into the stitch and then double crochet. Then chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip, double crochet. like that so you'd work all the way around. Okay I worked all the way around at the end of the row I chained one and then I'll come to this first chain three and I'll make sure there's one stitch that's left in between and slip stitch to join in that stitch. So there you have a grid. So you could just do this continuous grid. So to do the next row you would chain three one two three and you would double crochet in the next stitch. So I've chained three, which is the equivalent of a double crochet and a chain one space. Go directly to the next double crochet and make a double crochet. And then chain one and then double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. So you just continue to do that all the way around. And then you can make your sleeves as long as you like. If you want closed in sleeves, you could use a pebble stitch or a shell stitch or a V-stitch. I'm just going to go ahead and work a little bit more here and then I'll show you how I attach these to the sleeve. Okay, I've worked a few rows and that would get attached like that. Now if you just want a straight sleeve, you just continue to work in every stitch. Okay, I've worked all the way around and at the end of the row, instead of slip stitching in the top of that first chain two, I'm going to skip over and I'm going to slip stitch to join in the next stitch. And so that decrease will just disappear underneath the sleeve as you keep working. So then you just continue on, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet. Now when I get back to the end of the row, instead of slip stitching in this stitch, I'll slip stitch in this stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and work the sleeve and that's how I'm going to do it at the end of every row in order to taper instead of slip stitching in the second stitch of the chain three I'm going to go directly over to the next double crochet and slip stitch to join there. Okay I've gone ahead and I've finished my sleeve and I've decreased as I wanted underneath the arm and this would be here so you could just fasten off like that and leave the end of the sleeve the way this is or you could add detail all along the bottom. So to do that I will single crochet in the next chain one space and then I'll chain three, one, two, three, and then I'll slip stitch into the top of that single crochet and then single crochet one more time like that. So I'll do that again. Single crochet, chain three, one, two, 
three, slip stitch into the top of the single crochet, and then do one more single crochet in that same space. So you add these little picots along the bottom. So single crochet, chain three, slip stitch into the single crochet, and single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I finished with my last pico and then you'll slip stitch to join in that first single crochet and fasten off. And then weave that yarn in back into the finished work. And there's the finished sleeve. So now you can attach your sleeve. You can either sew it right along the bottom of the sleeve or you can overlap it a little bit like this. And then with the needle and the yarn, you can just stitch that. You can either do it with an overhand stitch or just a straight running stitch. And that's how easy it is to attach sleeves. So if you want to add some trim around the neck as well, you would just work your foundation chain so that it fits all the way around. Or you can do the blanket stitch and work your stitch right on. So if you have a neck that's too large, you can start crocheting up and then reduce in your last row. That will bring your collar smaller and it will also add a little detail along the collar. And on this black shirt, I wanted the back of the collar to be up a little higher. So I started with a foundation chain that was shorter than the actual opening up the neck. So this is my foundation chain here. And then I worked one row of single crochet and then one row of grid but I chained three or four between each of my double crochets. And then down the front placket, there was no placket here, so I just continued to crochet down and added that. And on the sleeves, I overlapped my finished piece. And so to work your sleeves directly on the t-shirt and you've made your blanket stitch, start with your yarn, just attach it under the arm, I like to lock it in with the yarn end and the yarn. And then chain one more time. So on this one, I'll demo a different kind of mesh. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. In the next loop of the blanket stitch, single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next loop of the blanket stitch. One, two, three, four single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four. Now you could make these bigger loops if you wanted, have a really big open mesh, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to work around and I'll show you how the sleeve would start to look. Okay, I worked all the way around making loops and a single crochet in my last loop and then I'm just going to slip stitch over to the beginning of the first loop. And for this grid, I'm going to turn because I want to keep my seam underneath the underarm. I'm going to skip this loop because I'm going to start decreasing already. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next loop and then I'm going to start my loops. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four single crochet in the next loop. And this will work into a big open mesh, like a fishnet. So I'm going to go ahead and work one more round. Oh, okay. Okay, I worked all the way around. And at the end of the row, I'm going to reduce. So I'm going to start a single crochet in the next loop, but I'm not going to finish it. And I'm going to go to the next loop, and I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'll pull through both. And then I will slip stitch to join in the base of the first loop. So then I can just slip stitch into the next loop and start my next row. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next loop. Like that, I'm going to go ahead and finish another row, and I'll show you again how to decrease under the arm. Okay, so there's how it looks with three rows. 
And if you just want to have a little cap sleeve like this, then you could just stop any time. So you could stop here, you could make a short sleeve, or you could make a long sleeve. And that's how easy it is to crochet this loop mesh. Okay, so there's the finished sleeve, and you can see where I reduced here under the arm. And then along the border, I did the same type of pico, except I did two single crochet, and then my pico, and two single crochet. And I did that in each loop. And this t-shirt had a round neck, but I don't like tight necks, so I just took my scissors and cut a slit down there, and then blanket stitched around the edge.